You're listening to the Amazing Facts Daily Devotional. Today's topic, Glenda Sue, From Tragedy to Triumph, Part 1. Kirk and Glenda Sue were shattered when their only son Jesse was tragically killed. Glenda Sue has no question that the Lord arranged for them to spend one last Thanksgiving with Jesse at his home. They had no idea this would be their last visit with their son. Jesse enjoyed cooking Thanksgiving dinner for all of us. It was such a happy time together. Unfortunately, she ignored a heavenly impression to contact Jesse the day before his death. She thought to call him, but she decided that she was too busy and would contact him the next day. But at 8 a.m. the next morning, her eldest daughter called to tell her Jesse was gone. I was completely devastated, she laments, and I realized I had missed the opportunity to talk to my son one last time. Falling deep into grief, it took Glenda Sue a few months to realize the impression she had received was from God. Once I finally understood, she said, I knew how much the Lord really cared for me. She started listening more carefully for the Lord to speak to her after this heart-wrenching experience. I did not blame God for my son's death. I know our lives here are temporary. A year later, Kirk's father passed away. It was during that time they received some Amazing Facts Bible study guides in a most unusual way. Two men began mistakenly dropping the studies off at their house for a few weeks instead of the next block down. After Glenda Sue read all the studies they left, she looked for more. The materials reignited my interest in the Bible's facts about the Sabbath, something that had stirred me since I was a child. When Glenda Sue was an inquisitive eight-year-old, she recalls reading about the Sabbath commandment in the Ten Commandments. She innocently asked her Sunday school teacher why they didn't go to church on Saturday. She sent me to my parents, Glenda Sue recalls, and my question was squashed like a nasty little bug. It was never biblically answered. For years, I continued to wonder about the fourth commandment and if there was anyone who kept the Sabbath day. Through the mistakenly dropped-off study guides, she was beginning to get the answer to this lifelong question. Can you think of a time when you witnessed God bringing good out of tragedy? Remember, the Lord does not cause tragedies. Satan is the instigator of all evil. Our key Bible text today comes from Romans 8.28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. Thank you for listening to the Amazing Facts Daily Devotional. 